Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Alpha Grid Investor. This is Dolph. So what happened uh, in the stock market today? So let's uh, take a look at the Dow Jones today. Um, uh, the Dow Jones opened uh, the green uh, uh, when the market opened, but it you know, it lost uh, all the strength uh, in the midday uh, around 11 o'clock. And I think that was the time that I covered the, uh, the Tesla stock. Uh, and then, you know, the Dow Jones went up a little bit uh, intraday, but and then, you know, you lost it all this, uh, the strength. Um, and then after uh, 3.30, or like 30 minutes before the uh, uh, the market closed, uh, it was trying to uh, get back to, you know, the, uh, uh, the way we, where it started today, uh, but it didn't happen. Um, so as a result, um, it, uh, it lost 124 points uh, for Dow Jones today. And S&P 500, same thing. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, it was kind of the dragging. I think it is because of many, um, all this, uh, the stimulus news uh, not being very clear. And, uh, the you know, the vaccine also was not very, uh, the good news out there. Uh, so that's what it uh, dragged the, all the stock markets uh, uh, kind of down today. NASDAQ was doing a little better, uh, but still lost uh, nine points. And let's talk about Tesla today. Yes, yeah, so I uh, covered this one all year today. Around 11 o'clock, uh, the stock was sitting at uh, 655. I think that's when I covered the, uh, the, uh, the Tesla stock. It went up a little bit uh, the, uh, during the day. And then, of course, you know, like 30 minutes before uh, uh, the market closed, everybody was trying to sell the stock. So it was just like uh, absolutely uh, insane. Um, I can definitely see, you know, the people, here is like the, uh, the monthly chart. As you see, like, especially people who've been, you know, who've been holding it after uh, uh, S&P 5 inclusion, you know, that was, uh, when the stock was sitting at you know four ninety, uh, you know like low four ninety, uh, price range, and then see how how much the, you know the stock went up all the way, you know, and uh, thirty minutes before before the clo close, I can definitely see every everybody's scared to hold it, especially the uh, the uh, the over the weekends, you know, like you you don't know what's gonna happen, so people were starting to uh, the sell a lot. And then, of course, you know, the, all this day trader, I can definitely see, you know, like it was 30 minutes before the bell uh, closed. So, you know, people were buying the dip around like the 630, um, six, you know, the price range. So uh, uh, absolutely, you know, the price went up all the way to 672 and then came back down um, like uh, 650 and went up, back up all the way to 695. Uh, so. Uh, that's when uh, what it closed it um, uh, today, but after hours it lost eighteen dollars still, so I can uh, imagine uh, even people who uh, are holding the uh, the option over the weekend, uh, the premium is really high, so um, let's take a look at the uh, what the premium um, the, for the option for today closing um, uh, December eighteen. So as you see, like the at the 600, uh, 670 price, um, uh, strike price, uh, it is like the fifty five dollars. But the, you know, like the the stock was going up and down, like six hundred and thirty to like you know going up all the way to six hundred and seventy. So we're talking about like uh, three to four thousand dollars. You know, the option premiums like going down even even below like hundreds. Yes, you know, so it is. Uh, it is very risky to hold uh, the option, um, you know, over the weekend. Um, and there was uh, the good news uh, about the uh, the bank stocks. Let's take a look at the J P Morgan. Uh, this news came out, you know, after the uh, uh, the market close. The basically the, uh, the Fed will let the big banks re resume share buyback. Uh, so that news came came out after uh, the close. So, you know, all this bank stock were, you know, uh, going up. Um, like after hours, J.P. Morgan, uh, they gained, you know, uh, $7.38. It was kind of like, the you know, shooting up. All the uh, same as, you know, the Bank of America. 
it was uh, pretty much down all you know all day. It is still, it closed uh, uh, the red, but uh, the after hours uh, it gained a dollar twenty one. So I think it is uh, the you know the good news. Let's take a uh, look at the Moderna. So I think you know the personally, uh, the Moderna and the Novavax are the two stocks that I'm keeping my eyes uh, eyes on. Because you you know like we had we had, we had a catalyst on uh, the Pfizer stock and uh, the BioNTech and uh, AstraZeneca as you know like the recently, but the the next uh, in my opinion the the next run up uh, uh, the catalyst that we will have is um, you know the Novavax and the Moderna and um, Novavax uh, uh, Moderna was down uh, in general today, uh, but uh, the the news came out the Moderna vaccine wins FDA okay, you know, uh, for uh, emergency use. So after hours, you know, it, it went up like three dollars uh, after hours. Uh, the Novavax also uh, went up dollar uh, sixty five. So uh, that's the uh, the two uh, the vaccine stocks I'm looking at, and. Uh, the another stock that I I'll be actually looking at uh looking at um the next next week, um the Jim Cramer uh the mention about the you know the Apple stocks you know saying that you know app, because the Tesla, S N S N P inclusion is you know you know it is it, it is done so, he was saying you know maybe it is a chance to buy buy the Apple stock so, uh, I I mean the the Jim Cramer you know like he he does affect uh, the market sometimes, you know, and he kind of swings, you know, the things around. So um, that's something, you know, that I'll be, um, not because, you know, the Jim Cramer mentioned, you know, about the, you know, Apple stock or anything, but, you know, Apple stock is uh, sitting at the uh, the crucial point right now. Uh, if you look at the uh, uh, the six months chart, the all time high was like, the, you know, like, uh, uh, like 134. And uh, it, it it was down when you know the all the market was down, but it is slowly creeping up um, uh, right now. And it is today it is ended at uh, one hundred and twenty six. Um, and I really like the setup. So we'll see what happens um, uh, for the next week. So let's talk about stimulus. Um, the what happened with the stimulus? Uh, so basically, the the Congress passed a two day. Stop gas spending bill uh, Friday night uh, to pre prevent a partial government shutdown and buying more time for slow negotiation on an almost one trillion COVID-19 economic uh, relief package. The House passed the temporary funding bill by a 320 against 60 vote. The Senate approved it by the voice vote almost immediately afterward, sending it to the president Donald Trump, and as you know, he was su uh, suggesting even bigger amount yesterday, mentioning like twelve hundred dollars or up to two thousand yesterday, which which got uh, got back got backfired you know, uh, from the members of White House. So I don't know what uh, what will happen uh, uh, over the weekend. So so we'll we'll see. And the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said both sides remains intent on. Closing the deal, even as the Democrats launched a campaign to block an effort by Republicans to restrain in emergency Federal Reserve lending powers, the Democrats says the GOP uh, proposal would dispose, you know, Joe Biden's tools to manage the economy. So they are going against um, uh, with that. So we'll see what happened. Uh, the Biden is promising another bill next year, but if the, uh, the Democrats lose. Uh, uh, Georgia Senate runoff elections next month and uh, fail to win the Senate majority, uh, they may have a little uh, the leverage. So I think that, that was uh, the main uh, news for today. So uh, that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.